Welcome to another Tableau tutorial video. I'm excited to be here. Thank you to all the subscribers who have left comments and given me ideas for future videos. In fact, today's idea comes from a subscriber and they wanted to know how do you add spark lines to a table? Okay, so we're going to use regions and we're going to use sales and we've got the sales by month and now we want to add data or metrics to this table. First thing we're going to do is we're going to grab monthly sales. I'm going to show you what that formula is here. Monthly sales is the sum of sales. It's the window max, the max value that you see in the window. Okay, I know that doesn't make a lot of sense. But now that we've got, so now we've got two lines here. Let me just move this. This is what this is the key. You move it to discrete, it'll turn blue, and now it shows up as a number. Okay. What this is doing, what the window max value is doing, or function is doing, is it's looking at all of these values, and it's picking the maximum. It's picking the largest one. So you can see here, the sales in the tooltip and the max monthly value are the same, except the max monthly value has about four decimals versus zero. Okay, we're going to use that same concept. And now we are actually going to use the Windows average of the sum of sales, right? Because we've already got the sales broken out by month, and this is going to give us the monthly sales. So we're just going to bring that up here and move that to discrete and now you've got that value as well okay so now what i wanted to do is i wanted to get the year to date sales in this case the data is only going through 2018 so i wanted to get all the data year to date for 2017 using that same concept the windows sum but now we've got a formula in there I know you can't see that real well. This is just how I like to write it. It's saying, if the order year is 2017, if the year of the order date is 2017, then put sales into this column. Otherwise, we're just going to have null. All right. And the window sum is going to add up all these different values. So why couldn't we just do sum, right? Why couldn't we just do that? I'll show you. If we take sum sales, move it over here, change it to discrete, and drop it. See now, sum of sales, it's showing up for each month. There's February, 2014, it's going to show up for each month. If you counted, so it's going to show up for each month. We don't want that. So that's why we have to do sum of sales so that it adds it all together. Still have to show it as, change it to discrete. And move it over. All right, we can test some of these items, which is what I like to do. Okay, like we did the max, tested the max. Now we're going to add a reference line. We're going to add a value, sum of sales average. That's what we want it to be equal for, for two. And then, so let's just remove that. And now come on over to the cheat sheet. You can look at these sales. 147, 213, 147, 213. Now the key to getting a uh, sparkline chart, there's a couple things here. We're going to edit the axis. We're going to make it independent because right now, I'll show you here, without it being independent, oops, automatic, goes up to 40K for each one of them. When we change it to independent, it's going to find the best range for that particular um, series. 
going to get rid of sales. Just put a space that will make it go away. Okay. And then you just shrink this line up. Maybe it's too much. But now you've got... Now you've got your spark lines. And you could make this narrower, obviously, uh, to make something that's a little more appropriate. But there you've got data inside the, you can even make these smaller maybe. There you go. You just shrink it and so it can't see it. And now you've got your some KPIs, whatever functions you need to do to create those. And now you've got your KPIs and your sparkline in the same item. And if it's a long enough list, you can scroll with it as well.